Hey y'all, what's up? It's Jessica. Welcome back and thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Today's video is a hair tutorial and I'm so excited to start doing more hair tutorials for you guys because guys, my damaged hair days are done. I'm gonna show you guys how I go from really short shrunken hair into this big old puff. I'm really loving my hair these days, mostly because I am taking care of her. I'm trying to get her back on track. I've said it before and I'll say it again, damage is not fun. You really start to miss the styles that you took for granted when your hair uh, was natural, well healthy. And then when it gets damaged, you're like, dang, I really wish I could get my hair in a puff. All throughout last year, I, I really wanted to explore with natural hairstyles, but honestly I couldn't because my hair was just so damaged. It would not do this at all. It wouldn't kink up um, because the ends were so overprocessed that they were straight. So a lot of styles that we take for granted or we don't appreciate, trust me, a little damage will make you wish you could put your hair in a puff. Also too, you guys can see that my hair is a different color because you guys wanted to see how I spray painted my hair. Now, I know you guys wanted to see the pink, but let me just say, the pink actually kind of stained my hair. Yeah. The tips of my hair were blonde, so when I would spray paint it pink, I didn't think it would stain my hair, but it actually did and turned it like this auburnish color that I'm just not here for. So for today, we're doing this cute little color. She's cute too, she's cute. I'm just excited to do more hair videos. I missed my hair. I missed sharing with you guys um, natural hair videos. So yeah, all right, here's another one. You guys asked for more hair videos, I'm delivering. So let's dive into the video. All right, so as you guys can see, my hair is in a very shrunken, state this is not even a style it's not even coming out of a style i like washed my hair put some twist in it and unraveled the twist i had a twist out for about a day and then this is about a few days later so my hair is pretty shrunken yeah it's gonna be a challenge trying to get this up because you guys know especially if you have kinky coarse 4c hair Starting off with shrunken hair can be a little bit challenging, but it's not impossible. First thing first, you want to moisturize your hair, girl, because this right here is not the move. I'm going to take this Coconut and Hibiscus Hold and Shine Moisture Mist by Shea Moisture and just give my hair a quick little spritzy spritz. And this way, when you moisturize your hair, it's easier to manipulate your hair because it's kind of like waking your hair up and letting her know, girl, it's time to play, okay? Then I'm going to go in with the moisturizing cream. This is also by Shea Moisture. This is the their Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Now it's time to smooth our hair up in the direction we want it to go. I'm going to use this Edge Control by Kiss Colors and Care. This is the Argan and Macadamia Edge Fixer. If you have the type of hair that I have where you feel like you need to use got to be gel on your edges just, just to get it to lay down, definitely try this one out because you'll get way better results. I feel like got to be kind of takes out your edges just a little bit if you're not careful. So definitely try this one out. Look at that instant facelift. All right, so I'm gonna take this elastic band that's kind of been stretched out and I'm going to put this over my head Normally when I do my puffs, I do it on stretched out hair because it gives me more length and more volume. But since my hair is in a shrunken state now, I'm not going to get the volume that I usually get. So what I'm going to do is add some volume and some length by using clip-ins. So I'm going to use these clip-ins. This is from, I don't even know what brand it's from. I just found these in my drawer. I'm going to apply this to my puff to make it look a little bit more fuller and less like a shrunken mushroom. Clamp them on in. All right, so now that we got a little bit more height and fullness to our puff, I'm gonna go in with my pick and just pick the roots just to make it a little bit more bigger and more fuller. I 
know you guys wanted to see like the pink fro I'll probably do that later on but actually that pink hair color spray kind of like tinted my hair like the tips of my hair that were blonde into like this auburn color and I can't seem to get it out so that stuff actually stained my hair I'm gonna use the go intense hair color spray by dark and lovely in the color gold rush I've never used dark and lovely's hair color spray before so this will be my first time and I'm excited to see the color It doesn't have that strong of a scent. Most of them have like a really intense chemical scent that I don't like. This one doesn't have that strong of a scent, so that's good. It's not the color that I was hoping for, but it's not bad. It's just not as, it's as intense as I wanted it. I'm gonna go in actually with this one by Jerome Russell. This one is in, what color is this? In gold. So I'm gonna see if this one gives me the intensity that I want. However, I do know that these have a strong chemical scent. So, huh. yeah, this one is more, a little bit more intense. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far and I think it looks cute, I like the color. All right, so next we need to work on these edges. I'm gonna go back into that Kiss Colors and Care edge fixer and just kind of lay down these edges a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna leave my scarf on my head for about 10 minutes or so and then I'll be right back. All right, y'all, this is the completed look and I love my and see, this is proof that you don't have to have extremely long hair. You don't have to have the really, you know, loose textured hair to style your hair quickly. Even with short, shrunken type 4, in my case 4C, 4B hair. Yes, girl, like if I was in a rush and I need to go somewhere, this is like my go-to easy styles. Us short type 4 hair girls, we have those go-to easy styles. I think a puff is very be fitting for any for anyone's face it's an instant facelift y'all see that boom so that is all i wanted to share with you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up let me know what your go-to favorite natural hairstyle is don't forget to share this video with a friend if you have not subscribed subscribe girl because i'm going to be bringing that heat okay when it comes to hair and all types of videos beauty fashion everything okay just subscribe also click that bell to be notified every time i upload that is all i'll see you guys in my next video bye